Okay, now for question number six from the um, practice paper A, International A Level P Paper 1, we have here a graph of a um, curve, equation y equals f of x, cubic curve, which is drawn for us, and the equation is given. It says the figure below shows a sketch of part of the curve with the equation y equals f of x. So we can see certain points where it crosses the y-axis, where it crosses the x-axis, where it turns. Um, it says on separate sets of axes, so two separate sets of axes, sketch the curves with the following equations showing in each case the locations and coordinates of the images of points A, B, C and D. So the intercepts of the axes plus the turning point. Okay. Um, first of all, y equals f of 2x. And it also says next to each of your sketches, write down the equation of the new curve in term, terms of x. Okay, so let's write down the old curve. x cubed minus 3x minus 2. So the original is y equals, this is y equals, x cubed, what was it, minus 2x, minus 3x, minus 2, minus 3x, minus 2, okay, now, I've put a little diagram down here of what we had up there so that we can see what's going on, so we've got to find or draw y equals f of 2x, okay, so here again, we have we have taken the original equation, which is y equals f of x, and basically what's happened is it's been the x's has been replaced. The x's have been replaced by two x. Okay, so that's how we're going to get the new equation, by the way. But let's draw it first. So basically, that's something where you're multiplying inside the function by two. So multiplying has got something to do with the stretch. Outside the function is a vertical stretch. Inside the function is a horizontal uh, stretch. And inside the function acts a bit strange. So you've got to take the x coordinates, so it, it, follow, it, it affects the x coordinates, but you've got to multiply by a half, the reciprocal of the number that you're multiplying by inside the function. Okay, so the x coordinates are multiplied by the half, and y coordinates stay the same. So let's just say we've got point A and B and C and D. So let's just you got A was minus 1, 0, and B is uh, 0, minus 2, and C is 1, minus 4, and D is 2, 0. Okay, so we've got to take the x coordinates and multiply them by a half. So you're going to have minus 0 0.5 and 0. The y coordinates, remember, say the same. And this will stay as 0, minus 2. The x coordinate doesn't change because you... This is 0 multiplied by a half, and you've got 0 0.5 and minus 4, and 2, 0, so you have 1, 0. Okay, so your A will be minus 0 0.5 and 0. Okay, so minus 0 0.5 and 0. That's going to be A, and B is going to be 0 minus 2, same as before. And you're going to have your C is, is going to be a half uh, zero minus zero point minus four, a half minus four, so it's going to be like um, over here. So this will be your C, zero point five minus four, and your D is going to be one zero. That will be your D. Okay, that will be one zero. So here you have 0 0.5, and here you have 1. So basically it will, it will look like this, somewhat like this. It will come from above, from below, like, just like it did there. So have exactly the same type of shape, but it will be squashed up a bit. So it will be a cubic curve that looks something like this. It will come from below, it will turn here, it will cross at minus 2, and it will, it will turn here, and go up, 
or something like that. Okay, so I've tried my best. It's not exactly perfect, but it's a bit shaky. All right, so let me just do that part again, especially. It's going to come down here. It's going to turn. It's going to go up. It's a bit better. So that's y equals f2x. Okay, now we've got to write down the new equation. Okay, to write down the new equation, we've got to replace x with 2x. So you're going to have y equals 2x cubed minus 3 times 2x minus 2. So this will be y equals 8x cubed minus 6x and minus 2. So that's the new equation. Okay, that's the new equation of the of the curve. Okay, so that's part two. Okay, y equals 8x cubed minus 6x minus 2. Replace the x with 2x in the original equation. Okay, part b, we've got to draw y equals f minus x. Okay, so here what's happened is, again it's inside the function, but you have to multiply the x coordinates by minus 1. So it's going to be reflection in the y axis. All right, it's going to basically be a horizontal reflection. So if we take the point A, minus 1, 0. The point B, 0, minus 2. Let's just do it down here. The point C is 1, minus 4. And the point D was, was it 1, 0 or 2, 0? It was 2, 0. Okay, so we have to basically change the x coordinates, multiply them by minus 1. So that becomes from minus 1 to 1, that's 0 minus 2, that doesn't change. Here you have minus 1 and minus 4, and here you have minus 2 and 0. So basically, what's going to happen is just going to reflect in the y axis. Okay, so a which was over here becomes over here. So you get one zero, that's, that's your A. It's one zero. And B is zero minus two, same as before. And C is minus one minus four, minus one minus four, so it's over here, down here. Minus one, minus four. And D is minus two zero. Because I mark the points, I think I should do that here. That's going to be your A. That's going to be your B. That's going to be your C. And that's going to be your D. Just to be sure, so let me do it here as well. So now, let's draw the graph first. So it's going to basically um, be the same like this, but coming from this way. It's going to come down this way. It's reflection. It's reflection. This will be reflection in this line here. So it's like you're going to reflect. So instead of going like this, it's going to come from the other way down. So it's going to be down and up. You see, the, the equation of the graph will look like this, actually. Y equals, so you're going to have, the original equation is Y equals X cubed minus 3X minus 2. Right? Let's just confirm that. Okay. So basically, you're going to replace the X with minus X. So you have minus x cubed minus 3 times minus x minus 2. So you end up with y equals minus x cubed plus 3x minus 2. And that is the new equation of the curve. That's a part 2 part done. Alright, so let's draw it now. So we can see it's, <coughs> it's, it's going to go down and down now. Alright, something like that. So it's going to come down like this, okay, and you're going to have, um, it's going to come down like this, okay, and it's going to turn there, go up, and then A is going to come down again. So it's going to, yeah, so it's going to go like this. It's going to come down, minus 2. Turn at minus 4. It's 
gonna it's gonna come up like this with minus two turn at one and go back down again I'll have that type of look to it okay, I've tried my best I'm sure you can do better this is a bit difficult with this, with this tool so here we have the graph of y equals f minus x okay and there's a new equation okay so that's part a and b done of that question um, 